Hey guys, what's up? I'm Boyka, and on this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase your CS in Tower Fantasy. As you can see, as if right now, I have 22,444 CS, and I'm gonna show you all the ways you can increase yours as well. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is going to be your gear. Your gear is going to be located in your backpack. Just go to over here to your backpack, and you're gonna see all of the gears you have equipped right now. And as you can see, all of my gear is purple. The way to get some purple gear is going to be by going to commissary, and you go to crystal dust store and here you're gonna have some gear depending on what level you are you're gonna have different ones unlocked but as you can see all of the purple ones i have already unlocked and after i hit level 50 i'm gonna unlock the gold ones as you can see right over here but as if right now i haven't unlocked them yet and i can only buy the purple ones and as you can see you can buy basically every single gear that you can equip as if right now one of these is going to cost you in total 400 of these purple energy crystal dusts when you buy one of these you're gonna get four different random stats and if you want to get the stats you want for example crit rate you're gonna have to come over here and keep buying the gear you want until you get the random stat you want basically different type of rarity gear is going to have also different cs as if right now in the game the gold gear has the highest cs then the purple then the blue and then the different types of colors there as it keeps going down but as if right now we can only get purple so make sure all of your gear is at least purple if you can if you can just wait and eventually you're gonna get there but what do you do after you get a purple gear after you get a purple gear go over here to the gear and click on enhance and the way to enhance your gear is going to be by using these booster modules if you want to update these they're gonna actually give you some choices the first one is going to be the bygone phantasm which one is going to be this one over here and actually have some rewards that I haven't claimed as you can see and every single week you actually get these as well depending on what kind of rank you are they're gonna give you different types of rewards when I clear level 84 I'm gonna get eight more of these and if you click on it you're gonna see on what kind of level what kind of rewards you're gonna get as you can see you can keep scrolling and keep seeing your rewards but I cannot see above level 135 the other way is going to be the crystal dust store again but here we're gonna use the blue energy crystal dust and you can buy in total I think two of these per week and I don't remember how many of these you can buy per week I think it's like around 30 or 40 but one of them is going to cost you 20 and one of these is going to cost you 100. You can also get them from the black market if you don't know where the black market is it's going to be located in Banjes. If you come over here and zoom into this tower the ruin B01 the black market is going to be right over here and you're going to have a guy to talk to after you talk to him he's going to give you a box and you unlock it and you're going to have some chance of getting one of these booster modules and the final way to get them is going to be from the wanderer's log the wanderer's log is going to be up here the book with the pen right here when you click on it you're going to see that we have different types of chapters and after i hit level 48 i'm going to get some rewards but as you can see i already got my booster modules right over here by completing this quest Another way of getting higher CS from your equipment is going to be from the advancement. If you go to the advancement, you're going to see that we can make them different types of star levels. And the only way to do that is going to be by feeding other like equipment that are like the same type. Like say, for example, with the armband, I need other armbands to be able to level up the star of my armband. And it's going to be the same for the helmet. I'm going to need other helmet equipment to be able to level up the star of this helmet over here. Next we're gonna have the weapons and the first thing to do on the weapons is going to be basically go to upgrade, go to the upgrade page right over here and make sure to level up your weapons as high as you can. As if right now I can level them up max to level 90 but when I hit wonder level 50 I'm gonna be able to level them up to 100. But as if right now this is the limit for me 90 so I can't level up anymore. But what I can do is go to advancement and if I have a copy of this weapon right over here which is the dual MS stars I can actually feed that copy to these weapons and that is going to also increase my CS. Another thing you can do for the weapons is go over here to the matrices and what you can do is level up your matrices and that is going to actually give you extra CS as well. You do that by going over here to develop and you can feed other matrices to be able to level up your matrices that you're using but I wouldn't recommend actually feeding the purple and the gold ones just feed the blue ones if you have and also we're gonna have some uh, matrix level up equipment as well you can actually feed those as well but do not feed the gold and the purple ones and what you can also do is go over here to advancement and if you have a copy of the matrix you're using you can feed the copy to the one you're using and that is going to also increase your cs and finally we're going to have the suppressor when you reach a certain amount of level and cs you're going to be able to upgrade your suppressor and to be able to upgrade the suppressor we're going to actually need these ones over here which are called potent omnian crystal and there are many ways of getting this crystal over here one of them is going to be the ruins if i go over here to my ruins you're going to see that once you clear one of these levels you're going to get one of these another way is going to be by clearing the story if i go over here you're going to see that we're going to have some different types of chests every single one of these chests is going to give you at least one of these omnian crystals as you can see the second one gives the third one and finally the fourth one as well and we have a bunch of these so you can go all over the map and clear these story modes as you can see i still haven't cleared the banished one but after i clear the banished one i'm going to get one more and some other rewards as well you also get it by the 
exploration progress on different types of areas of the map. Let's say, for example, Astra, you get two of them when you reach 440 exploration progress. In Banjas, you get them when you reach exploration progress 300. In Navia, you get them after you reach exploration progress 250. In Crown is 290. And finally, Warren is 285. If you're in a crew, you can also buy it from the crew store. It's going to cost you in total 500 merits, which is the crew currency. And another way is going to be also by clearing the bygone phantasm. As you can see, if I clear level 87, I'm going to get two more of these. For 96, I get two more and then 105, two more and it keeps going like that. And these are all the ways you can increase your CS in Tower of Fantasy. If this was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.